Tokyo is one of the most fascinating cities in the world. Modern, with a lot of history and a culture that makes it unique. It is undoubtedly one of the most important tourist destinations in Asia and the world. That is why we want to show you which are the seven districts that you cannot miss on your trip to Tokyo. Inza is a high-end shopping, dining, and entertainment district located in the heart of Tokyo, known for its luxury boutiques, flagship stores, and world-class restaurants. It's a must-visit for anyone looking for an unforgettable experience in the city. The 20th-century-old building of Tokyo Station is a piece of architecture to be appreciated, but it's also great to pick up some Tokyo Station suites as a souvenir while you're there. The Kabukizo Theater, one of the oldest and most famous kabuki theaters in Japan, Established in 1889, Kabukizo has been entertaining audiences with traditional kabuki performances for over a century. The Wako Department Store, a historic landmark that's been a staple of Ginza for over a century. Known for its blend of high-end shopping and traditional Japanese elegance, Wako is a must-visit for anyone looking for a unique shopping experience. The streets of Ginza are lined with stunning architecture and iconic landmarks, making it a popular spot for both tourists and locals alike. With its vibrant atmosphere and constant buzz of activity, it's easy to see why Ginza is one of the most famous shopping districts in the world. Akihabara is now a paradise for those looking for electronic gear and for otaku looking for the latest anime and manga related products. Akihabara is a great place to spend a day traveling and sightseeing. Being close to Asakusa and Ueno, there are a variety of interesting shops and cafes, such as the ever popular made cafes. There are loads of electronic stores, some as small as an office cubicle and others with 10 plus floors of the latest technology. Chuo Dori is the main street in Akihabara. All large-scale e-retailers can be found here. Also every Sunday, the 570 meters between the Kunda 5 Chimei intersection and the Monsei Bashi intersection become a pedestrian paradise, attracting the weekend crowd. Akihabara consists of the bright lights of the future. Shibuya in Tokyo is one of the busiest and most iconic districts in the world. Shibuya Crossing, also known as the Scramble Crossing, is one of the busiest intersections in the world, with hundreds of people crossing the street at the same time. This is a must-see experience, especially if you're a first-time visitor to Tokyo. Shibuya Station is a major hub for public transportation in Tokyo, and it's also a great place to start your day. Shibuya is also a shopping paradise, with endless options for shopping, dining, and entertainment. From high-end boutiques to street vendors, you'll find everything you need in this vibrant city. One of the most iconic landmarks in Shibuya is the Hachiko statue, dedicated to the loyal dog who waited for his master to return every day. It's a beautiful tribute to the bond between humans and their pets. Harajuku is one of the most popular shopping destinations in Tokyo, and it's easy to see why. From the iconic Takashita Street to the luxury boutiques of Emoto Sando, there's something for everyone here. For decades, Harajuku has been the center of affordable, casual, and subcultural fashion and a favorite hangout for young people. Takashita Street is a must-visit for those who want to experience the unique fashion and culture of Harajuku. This narrow street is lined with shops selling everything from trendy clothes and accessories to quirky gifts and souvenirs. Amotasando, on the other hand, is a more upscale shopping destination, with luxury brands and high-end boutiques. It's a great place to go if you're looking for something more sophisticated and elegant. Across from Harajuku Station are Yoyogi Park and the Meiji Jinku Shrine. The Meiji Shrine is a beautiful and peaceful oasis in the heart of the city, dedicated to the spirits of Emperor Meiji and his wife, Empress Shokin. Yoyogi Park is a vast 700,000 square meter site that is home to the shrine, a rich green forest of around 100,000 trees offered from all over Japan. 
Roppongi is one of Tokyo's most vibrant neighborhoods. From contemporary art to shopping, and even traditional Japanese gardens, there's something for everyone in this bustling area. For breathtaking panoramic views of the city, head up to the Tokyo City View Observation Deck on the 52nd floor of the Roppongi Hills Mori Tower. Roppongi Hills is a complex that has something for everyone, from shopping and dining to a movie theater, a museum, and even an observation deck with stunning views of the city. A little further west there is Tokyo Midtown, which has become a popular shopping and dining destination in Tokyo since it opened to the public in 2007. Also here is located the Ritz-Carlton Tokyo Hotel, just around the corner from Tokyo Midtown. You can also visit the National Art Center. The building itself is a work of art and is based on the concept of a museum in the forest. It has one of the largest exhibition spaces in Japan. The museum focuses on progressive artwork from both Japan and abroad. We didn't want to forget to mention the Tokyo Tower, one of the most iconic landmarks in Tokyo, located in the Minato City neighborhood, it is a must-visit attraction. Whether you're visiting during the day or at night, the Tokyo Tower is a sight to behold, and a symbol of Tokyo. Shinjuku is one of the busiest and most vibrant districts in Tokyo. It was originally a quiet rural area on the western outskirts of Tokyo, but in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, it underwent rapid development and became a major transportation hub. Let's start our tour at Shinjuku Station, the busiest railway station in the world, with over 2 million passengers passing through every day. This station is a city within a city, with shops, restaurants, and even an entire department store located inside, Shinjuku Gaian, a beautiful park located in the heart of Shinjuku. This park was once a residence for the imperial family and was later transformed into a park in the early 20th century. It's a peaceful oasis in the midst of the bustling city, and it's a great place to relax and enjoy the scenery. Within this district is the Kobukicho area, one of the most famous entertainment and nightlife areas in Tokyo. Visitors will find a veritable urban playground filled with restaurants, clubs, bars, cinemas, internet cafes, and hotels. It is one of the wild areas of Japan, if not the most. Truly, Kobukicho is an unquestionable must-see for anyone going to Tokyo. Asakusa District is a fascinating area, here you can find the Sensoji Temple, the most famous shrine in the city, dedicated to Kanon, the Buddhist goddess of compassion. It is visited every year by 30 million people and is one of the most important tourist attractions in Tokyo. Nakamai's Shopping Street is another must-see place in Tokyo, in this street, many small shops sell Japanese-style items, such as handicrafts, accessories, sweets, and much more. Across the river, from the Asakusa side of the bridge, you can see the Asahi Beer Tower, which represents a mug of foamy beer. Attached to Asakusa, in the Sumida district, it is worth highlighting the Tokyo Skytree. This 634-meter-high communications and observation tower rises across the Sumida River like a huge space rocket. It opened its doors in 2012 and has quickly become one of the most visited tourist attractions in the city thanks to the incredible panoramic views from its restaurant and observation decks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel content.